wet Newcastle upon Tyne in England. Nick Lemieux here with a, a quick unboxing and review of the new Sennheiser D1 digital wireless focal set. Um, now, I've been uh, touring the UK with my comedy act for 12 or 13 years now, and I've only ever had one microphone. It was this one, a Sennheiser. I think it's an EW100. It's very, very old. Uh, it's been fantastic. It's never broken once. 13 years on the road with, I don't know, 150 shows a year. That's and you know it's it's never failed us uh, and I really hope that this is going to be as good as uh, my old Sennheiser mic. There's um, a few really interesting features on this that I want to have a look at. Uh, it, it's got um, an equaliser built into the receiver, uh, a de-esser that is in there as well. Uh, I think there's a sort of compressor thing like an auto level thing that I'm really interested to try. It's got an app for remote control and monitoring. This is really interesting stuff, and I imagine I could play with it for hours. But what I thought to, I'd do today is first have a look in the box, um, and then secondly, a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, my old mic, just see what the difference in sound is. Thirdly, I wanna have a look at some of these um, features, these built-in um, effects and things. Uh, and fourthly, I want to do a little bit of recording because I'm um, preparing a new piece for my show. So, without any further ado, let's uh, crack on and have a look what's inside the box. I'm very excited to see it. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. The first thing to notice is, unlike my previous 13-year-old <laughs> Sennheiser microphone, this actually comes in a hard case, which is fantastic. Uh, now then, I can't actually tell which way up this should be. Well, it's got arrows, so let's point those up and see if that's... This feels promising, and yes, we got it the right way up. So what have we got? Uh, the microphone. This feels lighter than the old one. Um, some documentation, let's see. All right, okay. So there's a quick start guide, a handling guide, a safety guide, and a tech spec booklet. Okay. Uh, power supply, a clip. Yeah, all seems pretty good. What I want in a clip is, because sometimes I'll use a stand, but I want to get it out fast. I suppose that's the same with any vocalist. Um, so I'll be wanting to snap that in and out really quickly, and that looks like that will do that. Oh, yeah. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> good first impression with the clip. A uh, couple of batteries there. Nice. Get you started. And what's this? Oh, yes, the antenna. And the receiver itself. Now, on the, another thing is, on my old system, I only had the unbalanced output, so I'm really pleased. I don't know how long ago they changed this, but I'm really pleased to see a, an, uh, a balanced output for the mic as well, so I'll be trying that today. Um, I also know there's a LAN socket on here. I don't know why you would want to plug this into the internet. Perhaps you can network these things on a large production, or maybe it's for... Um, hardware updates, you know, um, firmware updates. Who knows? I'm sure we can find out. Um, an on button, a menu button, and a pair button. Okay, well, let's uh, set up some other equipment, set up some recording stuff, and uh, we'll try this. Let's try to see how these antennas go on. They look like they just screw on. Yeah. And, and then will they go in any, yeah, they go anywhere. Well, that's good. And fold away quite nicely. Will they travel like that? Ah, excellent. Okay. So 
So the antenna go on really easily. All looks good. Feels fairly sturdy. Yeah, it's all metal. And that mic is metal too. This is the 835 capsule. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about the different capsules that are available, but um, I think this is a sort of a general purpose speech and singing sort of one. So we'll try that. Okay, let's set up some uh, gear. And uh, oh, forgot to mention, you also get some little rubber feet for the bottom of the receiver, should you require them. Okay, let's uh, get this all set up and uh, we'll have a listen. Okay, so this is my very basic home recording setup. Uh, baby face interface into my laptop. Uh, I've already set up my old AW100 mic for comparison with the new one. And now let's see how easy this, it is to set up the D1. Okay, antennas up, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, have the power supply. Okay, so it's looks like it comes on by default. What happens if I press the button? Nothing. A long press. Would it power it? That would power it down. And I'm guessing a short press. Yep, yeah, and that's it. Starting up again. All right. Okay. So I can see some, there's an EQ thing here, that'll be the DSer, and this will be the automatic gain control. We'll try those in a little while. Let's see if I can get into the menu first of all, and, yep, um, system settings now, name, walk test, all right, okay, look, uh, well, wow, that's really easy to work, isn't it? That's great. It's supposed, I th from reading the literature, it's supposed to be sort of really easy and more or less just do it itself. Well, how do you get into this thing? My uh, old mic, aha. My old mic took um, nine volt, the square batteries, quite pricey. So another thing I'm pleased about with this, although I think they've done this for a while, is use um, AA batteries. That's a really snug fit in there, which of course is. Now that doesn't click shut. I guess the pressure of putting it back into here will. Okay. Ah, right, now there we are. It looks like it's paired instantly, but it's muted. That's the power button, the pair button, and that, there we are, the mute. So we put that on. One, two, 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 yeah! And straight away we're getting some signal there. Now it looks like, even though that automatic gain control is off, it looks to me as though it's doing something anyway because here's a normal speaking voice and then a really loud, yeah! Really doesn't seem to do much. There must be some sort of built-in compression on that. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up and try out both mics side by side. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is just a side-by-side -side comparison of the two mics. Uh, <clears throat> I've got my door set up. I like to use Reason for more or less everything. And I'm gonna try the EW100, the old tr trusty mic that I've had for a long, long time first. And then I'm gonna try the new D1. And I'm just gonna to listen to them side-by-side -side and just see what they sound like next to each other. It's really is as simple. And as subjective as that. So let us try the the old EW100 first. Um, okay, let's try this. I'm going to try it with whispering, talking, singing and loud singing. So first, whispering. This is me whispering. I hope you can hear me. I'm talking very quietly. <clears throat> and let's try talking. Hello, a very good evening, everybody, and welcome to. I don't know who. I don't know who I'm waving to. The wall, waving to the wall. Good evening, wall. <laughs> Hope you have a nice time. You're the best audience I've ever had. Uh, let's try uh, singing. 
yeah, 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 yeah. And that was nice. And let's try loud singing. Yeah. Okay. Let's try the D1. First with the whispering. Hello, this is me whispering. I hope you can hear what I am saying as I talk so quietly. And let's try normal talking. This is my normal voice. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hope you're going to laugh your socks off. Literally, that would be funny for me. And, God, look at the time. You wouldn't believe how long I've been doing this. 13 years. <laughs> and uh, singing. Bum, bum, ba-da-dum. Bum, ba-da-dum. Bum, ba-da-dum. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-bum. And let's try the loud singing. Yeah! Okay, let's uh, actually what I'm going to do is split these apart so they will play one after the other and I'll have a listen. So let's cut them. Okay, so first is the EW100 with the whispering. This is me whispering. I hope you can hear me. I'm talking very quietly. <clears throat> Hello, this is me whispering. I hope you can hear what I am saying as I talk so quietly. They both sound re fine, great. Uh, not really a lot of noise um, on either. About a similar level of noise, I would say. And the only thing I'd say on a first impression is that perhaps the newer mic seems to have a little more clarity in the top end. Let's listen to normal talking. Hello, a very good evening, everybody, and welcome to... I don't know who, I don't know who I'm waving to. The wall? Waving to the it's wall. Quite warm. Good evening, wall. <laughs> Hope you have a nice time. You're the best audience I've ever had. Uh, let's try uh, singing. And let's try normal this talking. Is talking. This is, talking is my normal you. voice. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hope you're going to laugh your socks off. Literally, that would be funny for me. And, God, look at the time. You wouldn't believe how long I've been doing this. 13 years. <laughs> and uh, singing. This is, this is singing on the EW100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and that was nice. And let's try loud singing. Bum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba dum ba 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 bum. Yeah, so I would say the difference there <coughs> is there seems to be a more sort of bottomy end and mid in the older mic. The newer mic is clearer, which would be good for speech. Um, but as far as the recording goes, I wouldn't have any preference of those two mics, I don't think. I would say the new one's got less noise, and I'm not sure if there's something electronic -y going on to control that, but there might be. Didn't it say it had an auto gain control? Oh no, that's a thing you can turn on. I think we'll have a look at the, the features now of the D1. All right, now I'm going to uh, have a try of these built-in equalisation and compression effects that are built into the receiver and have a little listen to what they do. So, as I said earlier, the, the menu on this thing is like almost ridiculously easy to navigate so you just press once uh, system settings network settings or you want audio settings press again there was a low cut now as i said before I, I can't really imagine a situation where i'd be using that <coughs> the um the signal itself seems quite i wouldn't say it's top endy i wouldn't say it's too much up there it's quite balanced but there's a lot of clarity to it and I didn't, on these headphones anyway, 
I didn't hear a lot of uh, bass signals coming through, so I don't know if I'd need that, the low cut. Uh, the equaliser, again, I would never use that because I'm going into a desk and I would equalise everything in the desk, but I can see where that would be really useful to somebody. Often you get these systems where you just stick an iPad on and stick a mic in and that's and that's the PA. Without, you can go without a mixer. In that case, having an equaliser in here would be really useful. The DSer. Let's try now. How do you turn it on? Select. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. And there's a, a range of actual settings for the DS. We've got broad, selective, or off. Well, let's try selective and see how that does. Let's try the DSA. Perhaps with a little um, two, 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 two. With a little, uh, let's do a. That's she sells seashells. That would work. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, let's listen. Uh, let's listen to the, oops. Let's listen to the undiest one first. Let's see. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. It's undiest. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Yeah, I can hear it a little bit, but again, I'm no audio engineer. I can't really tell it any difference in that. Let's try the auto game control. That was the other one I wanted to have a look at. Now we have a soft one or a hard one. I imagine that'll be the speed. So we'll try the hard because it should be more noticeable. Uh, so this is with the automatic game control on. So first I will talk quietly and then I will talk louder and louder and louder and louder. We'll see what it sounds like. But I mean, let's see. So first I will talk quietly and then I will talk louder and louder and louder and louder and quieter and quieter and quieter and louder and quieter. This is with the automatic gain control turned off. So let's talk quieter and quieter and louder and louder and louder and louder and quieter and quieter and quieter. I think that's quite a good feature, actually. You can see on the first waveform, it's just sort of gently compressed it and made it all a more even signal throughout the thing. I don't know if I'd use it. So what I tend to do is sort of this, <laughs> if I'm loud, quiet, loud. And I might just be too used to that, but that, again, could be very useful. Okay, well, everything's looking good so far. The last thing I want to do today, oh, I've still got my DSR on. The last thing I want to do today is um, a bit of recording that I have to do. Okay, the last thing I want to... Uh, test with a new D1 today is uh, a bit of recording with some friends of mine we're recording uh, an England song for the Euro 2016 competition so uh, I'm going to record a rough demo of this I normally always use a condenser mic when I'm recording anything I'm recording in a dining room do I really need a condenser mic maybe this might even cut out a bit of the noise and, and it might not have the exact same quality but maybe it might not be that noticeable and anyway for a demo it's certainly going to be good enough i would have thought so i'll give it a go and i'll let you know what i think afterwards so we'll find a new beginning in a distant land We'll walk the road to glory. It's all within our hands. So often you've failed the nation's hopes. We've never had a chance to gloat. We'd love to have our time to dance and hope for glory for the three lions in France and we'll find a new beginning in a distant land we'll run the road to glory it's all within our hands 
So, my conclusion of the D1. Here's what I like about it. It's comfortable. I would say it's slightly thinner in the barrel than the old one. Well, that's good probably because it means that's going to suit um, ladies, people, I shouldn't say ladies, people with smaller hands as well as larger hands. It's not too small, it's comfortable. Um, looks nice and modern. Um, it works effortlessly. I just plugged it in and it worked. Well, that's great. Who doesn't want that? Um, there's a lot of the built in really interesting built-in effects and compressions and things and EQs in, in the receiver, which I don't think I'm going to use personally, but I can see how those would be really useful to some people. Um, in conclusion, I would say that this is a worthy successor to my old EW100. Can't wait to get on the road with it. The main difference I've noticed is this has a lot more clarity to it. Now, I don't know if that's the capsule difference or if it's just that my old mic is an old mic, but I can't wait to take this on the road. I think it's gonna cut through the music where it needs to better than my old one. And uh, I can't wait to try it live. So uh, thanks for watching and thanks Sennheiser for the mic. Cheers, bye.